What's going on, YouTube? All right. If you're not older than 18, please don't watch this. But if you are, how's it growing? All right. I'm going to do a quick little thing right here. I don't know how I'm going to do this, seeing it's just me. You know what I mean? Ooh. Um, I'm going to show you basically how I pH my water. Now, these right here is regular tap water. When you put an air stone in there overnight, you get chlorina. Supposedly, uh, I don't know. That's what I hear. But if you can pick up some, I can pick these up for free. Um, it's mainly, you know, when you're in this shit, the stuff that you get for free or next to nothing is the best stuff. But, um, yeah, you let it sit overnight with the air stone going and it supposedly gets rid of the chlorine. Now, I'm flushing most of my plants now, so I don't care about using this stuff to flush them out. I mean, but where I live, there's a free spring, and I just save all my gallons of water, and they fill up all these gallons like this. It's free. Again, another free thing. You know what I mean? But here we go. All right. Usually what I do, fill it up, maybe to a first line of the solo cup, and I got blue lab. I'm using Fox Farm, as you can see. Now, this is going outside to the garden. I got a few plants growing out there. Oh, Duncan's! No, everybody runs on Duncan's. Okay. Bear with me because it's just, it's just me. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, I got a two-gallon. Jug down here, so I'm gonna fill this up to a little four. Eh, it's a little over. Oh well. Plant's gonna get a little extra something, something. All right, so it's two teaspoons per gallon. I have a two-gallon canister over here. So just get it all done now. You know what I mean? Oh, by the way, this is I guess this is could be a uh, how I mix nutrients. As well. Shake it, shake it, gotta shake it up, good. Okay. Um, sprinkle a little of this in there. Gotta wash this out a little bit. I would have just, you know, if this wasn't a video, I just would have freaking just gonna toss that, that stuff in there. Alright, here we go. This is probably my last one of this, but it depends. Like these are for like tomato plants and pepper plants and stuff, so I'm not gonna be like that accurate with it. You know what I mean? This is almost gone. Okay. I don't know. I think it might. Eh. Fuck it. There's like nothing in there. Alright. Now, it's a tiger ball. Again, it's, it's two teaspoons, but I'm putting in, so I'll go four. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this place is a mess. So. Alright, what am I doing here? Oh, tape came off it? Oh, well.
Alright. Okay, my set up a little bit. Filling that back up. Shake it again. Alright. This is where I start to bring in. Oh, I'm going to have to go up a little bit. Alright, by the way, if you want to get a good pH pen, you got to spend the money and get through that. I'm sorry. Alright, it's 5.2. I want to aim for about 5.8 to 6.5. But if I'm in the 6s, I'm good. Alright, I'm going to play. Oh, I don't even know. I got I get my pH up and down. Do a couple of these. I'll probably do like... I don't know. We'll see where it ends up. See where this ends up with three. Um, when I do this though, when I do the pH up and pH down, I try and keep a, a little cup of water and get clean, like get everything out, like suck it in and then just fucking shoot it back out. In fact, I probably got to get clean of water. Just when you're doing pH up, pH down, you don't want to mix the pHs in there. Like if there's a pH down a little bit in there, like I don't know, let's see. Like, maybe a little bit, something like that, right? You want to get everything out of it. That's just me. But, okay. You know what I mean? That's just, that's just me. Okay, then I fill up again. I fill up to about the first line in the solo cup. Even though it's a blue solo cup, let's see where it's let's see where it's at. <laughs> All right, it's at five seven. Oh no no five eight five eight. Now, if you were watering, you know your weed plants, five point eight to six point five. If you're in soil. All right, we have five nine. Hmm. I might do. Probably good right there, but I might do one one more explosion of like a full pen of that. And like, let's see where it is. Well, no, it's at six. Shit. Shit, it's at six. Okay. Shake it up again. You gotta shake it. Let's see where it's at. We're at five nine. Ah, uh, six. And you probably get agitated a little bit. Let's see where it goes. Is it six one? Eh. I might do it. I might do it. Six six one. I bet you this will this will probably put put me over the edge right here. Six point three, six point four. Watch, it's gonna be over. <laughs> That'd be my luck. It'd be like seven. Okay, again. I'd say about the first little line on the solo cup. Let's see where this is at. Six point two. I mean, I really shouldn't waste this pH up, pH down. It's probably on. You know what I mean, but.
I don't know. This is the way I do it. Now, it is talk taking a little bit longer because, obviously, I'm doing a quick little video. Oh, my, my heater's going to shut off. Six to eight. Yeah, I think that's if that's probably good right there. All right. Now, if I was watering weed, what I would do. This is going to be extremely difficult to do with one hand. Okay. I would take this hydroponic, uh, the General Hydroponics pH test kit, and I would test it just in case, but this is going to be tough, dude. Whoops. As you see, I was looking through the screen when I did that. <laughs> I, I was looking through the screen when I did that, so sorry, okay? I'm not a professional. It should go down a little bit lower, maybe like a half. Four drops. And this is probably going to be right about 6.5. <sighs> See, uh, this one's a little bit. But if you can look at it right there, 6.5. 6.5. Now, <clears throat> that's what I do when I'm mixing my solutions. And then I pour this in this water jug right here. I'm gonna go water it outside. Get the garden. Nice. Well, that's how I do my pH testing and mixing my nutrients. If you like this video, you like this video, you like this content, like and subscribe. Just a beginner grower trying to help other beginner growers. You know what I mean? So keep the peace. And uh, any questions, put it down in the comments, man.